busted our We've worked harder than anybody to get here. Nobody can beat us in a team, and it's worth 70000 In that huddle was Sega Hart baseball coach Nick Giaquinto, who was one of the running backs for the Redskins that year. Well, we started the season, the preseason, 0-4, and uh, there really wasn't any panic. I think that, you know, there was a lot of veteran guys on the team. It was a good blend of uh, older guys, Joe Theismann and John Riggins and Art Monk, guys who have been through many years, and uh, a lot of younger guys, too. So uh, just following the lead of the veterans, you know, there really wasn't any panic, and uh, there was a lot of confidence that going into that season that it was going to be the year that the uh, Redskins turned it around. In 1982, there was the strike, and I think, if I remember correctly, uh, it's been so long ago, uh, that it was after the second game. Possibly, and uh, so we went on strike for it was probably close to a month. I'm, I'm thinking, and it, it was definitely different, a different experience. Not knowing uh, how it was going to be resolved, when it was going to re be resolved, uh, what the outcome was going to be. So it, it was challenging for the players. And what we did as a team is we continued to practice a couple times a week together as a group at a high school field at somewhere we go find a place just to just to maintain that bond and I think that helped us in the long run. Being a member of the 82 Super Bowl team was one of the highlights of my life of course um, because it's, it's what you dream of as, as a kid it, from Pop Warner football through high school through college and then even in the pros you, you know your goal uh, is to make it to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. So it was an experience, um, the whole experience of being part of a championship team was something I, that I carry with me. And hopefully uh, I can relay that experience to some of my players on the, the work, the effort, the camaraderie, the teamwork uh, that it takes to, act, to become a champion. So uh, it doesn't matter what sport you're playing, a lot of those things are similar uh, as far as building a good team. So it was an experience that I reflect back on often. Um, and some of the lessons that I learned from guys like uh, Joe Gibbs and Don Shula, who I played for before that, uh, are lifelong lessons that I that I use in, in coaching Sacred Heart Baseball. And playing for Joe Gibbs was, and winning Super Bowl and going to two Super Bowls was just another tremendous experience. They were they were similar in, in many ways, but also a little bit different. Um, and the, the the Redskin experience was being under Joe Gibbs just influenced me tremendously. Uh, Joe Gibbs, after one of the games, gave me the nickname the Trash Man, uh, and it was primarily because I would I was the backup punt returner, I was the the H back. Uh, where I would go in on passing situations. Even a couple weeks, I was like the third string quarterback, you know, which never never came to, to happen. But <laughs> if, if the two guys went down, I was going to go in. So, uh, so returning punts, covering kicks, covering punts, it was just uh, my job was to fill the gaps. And, uh, you know, I had my role as that third down guy to go in. But besides that, there was other, other, other roles that, could evolve because uh, I ended up, I did end up returning punts in uh, the playoffs and in the Super Bowl in, in 1983. The first H back in the NFL, or one of the first, I, you know, I don't know how accurate all that is, but I, I had never heard the term before. And it, it was uh, it was just a role that, that Joe Gibbs created. And we, we were one of the first. Uh, one of the first teams to use just one back, and when we had John Riggins back there, we'd have two wide outs and then uh, a tight end or two slot backs, and depending on the, the you know down and distance. So, and I was, and they he labeled it H back, which was another back, but we were kind of like a slot back and going in motion. Uh, so it was, uh, it was. You know, I liked the name The Trash Man, and I thought it was cool to be one of the first H-backs, if not the first H-back. Uh, so it was uh, it was just uh, a good part of the career, you know, to have a couple things to say, yeah, uh, these are things that I did I was part of. 
a fun bunch. They were a fun bunch. And if there was, if we scored a touchdown, or if one of the fun bunch scored a touchdown, which was basically the receivers, uh, tight end, uh, a couple of, I think a couple of, one of the running backs. So if one of them scored a touchdown, they would all go to the end zone and celebrate by going like one, two, three, and they'd jump up in the air and they'd touch hands. And uh, so that was when they were allowed to celebrate. So it was just, it was just a, it was just a fun thing to do, and there were guys that hung out together after, you know, after practice and after games. So it was just a, a really good bunch of guys, and uh, that's about all I can tell you about the fun bunch on camera. This key run by Super Bowl MVP John Riggins helped lead the Washington Redskins to a 27-17 victory over the Miami Dolphins in Super Bowl 17. Beat them, swap them, touch them, let the 